child proofing our house child proofing so that we can avoid home accidents as much as we can and this time I want to start a story a accident from our house that we lived personally this is the story of my son he was 18 months old and we were having a party at our house there were a lot of people around and we had given him something to drink in a glass container and he was walking around the house around the guests and no one really observing him he fell down the one stair only one stair that we had at our house and uh, onto this glass and the glass pieces caused many lacerations in his hands and many of them needed suturing so we had to rush him to the hospital where I was working and he had to have many sutures on his little fingers and this was really a heartbreaking accident that we lived in our house next morning my mother called me she said what happened and I told her the whole thing I told her about the suturing and she said oh my god and I said to my mom to reassure her I have a solution she said oh great what is your solution I told her I'm gonna put a suturing kit to our house and whenever they have a laceration a deep cut like that I'm gonna suture it at home after all I told her I'm a physician and I know how to suture perfectly why rush to the hospital all the time there was silence on the phone and I said mom and she said my dear darling girl instead of putting a suture kit in your house why don't you find the best means of child proofing your house yet again she was right i was telling her i was coming with a solution that wasn't even a solution for child proofing the house so in this scenario we had a lot of mistakes one of them we had a busy household that day and it can be a cleaning day it can be a party in your house it can be a Christmas dinner at, at your house and you may be very preoccupied with the guests if so and if you have young children as guests you should have one-on-one -on -one observers for each child that's one of the mistakes that we did and the second mistake was we had given him something that he shouldn't be walking around it was glass so never give anything breakable to your children and our third big mistake was that uh, we were giving it while he was moving around never give anything uh, that he's gonna drink eat or walk around that's breakable so those were the mistakes that we learned by by a hard wrong way home accidents are really avoidable most of them I hear you some of you are saying well not really I have a friend who doesn't child proof her house and her child has learned perfectly how to not to touch what is breakable and what's dangerous you may think that but children between one to two and a half years to three years of age don't have such strong judgments and they cannot really understand what is very dangerous for them to touch so better child proof your house so that you don't run into accidents and we're gonna have a series of ways of child proofing your house in the following videos which I really recommend you to listen and then apply it in your house uh, believe me these are these home accidents when they happen in your house leave long lasting scars in your heart so don't uh, don't avoid uh, these by overlooking what is dangerous in your house i believe i can tell and he will less listen a strategy is not right when your child is really young less than three years of age and for this video uh, we have changed our decor in our studio and we put all of these chemicals on a high shelf 
just to emphasize that anything that's dangerous material in the house should be put way up in a high shelf in the house. And for the purpose of this talk, I'm going to put this, let's say we have, let's pretend we have a small child around. I'm going to put my breakable glass on this shelf and never leave anything hot or breakable around the reach of your little children.